I stand before the church this day and raise the warning voice. It is a prophetic voice, for I shall say only what the apostles and prophets have spoken concerning our day. It is a voice calling upon the Lord's people to prepare for the troubles and desolations which are about to be poured out upon the world without measure. The giant earthquake and the tsunamis it sent crashing into the coast around the Indian Ocean is just the beginning and a part of what is to come, terrible as it was. Lord has warned and forewarned us against a day of great tribulation. Too often we bask in our comfortable complacency and rationalize that the ravages of war economic disaster, famine, and earthquake cannot happen here. Those who believe this are either not acquainted with the revelations of the Lord or they do not believe them. Those who smugly think these calamities will not happen, that they somehow will be set aside because of the righteousness of the saints, are deceived and will rue the day they harbored such a delusion. Change is also accelerating in the world around us. But much of the acceleration in the world is in troubles long prophesied for the last days. Great trials lie ahead. All of the sorrows and perils of the past are but a foretaste of what is yet to be. And we must prepare ourselves temporally and spiritually. Our spiritual preparation consists in keeping the commandments of God and taking the Holy Spirit for our guide. Now the Lord is anxious to lead us to the safety of higher ground, away from the path of physical and spiritual danger. And as the world becomes darker and more dangerous, we must keep climbing. It will be our choice whether or not to move up or to stay where we are. But the Lord will invite and guide us upward by the direction of the Holy Ghost. We do not know when the calamities and troubles of the latter days will fall upon any of us as individuals or upon bodies of the saints. He simply tells us to watch and be ready. Hope sustains us through despair. If only we could cleanse for a moment what the Lord has in store for us, not only in the next life, but in this one as well. Our hope would be unshakable and despair could never overcome us. Hope teaches that there is reason to rejoice even when all seems dark around us. I assure you that our Heavenly Father is mindful of the challenges we face in the world today. He loves each of us and will bless us as we strive to keep His commandments and seek Him through prayer. And to all who suffer, to all who feel discouraged, worried or lonely, I say with love and deep concern for you, never give in, never surrender, Never allow despair to overcome your spirit.